We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we are going to paint the long horn on this Incarn model. We're going to do a transition from a very dark brown at the tip to a white at the base with a little bit of a purple hue in between. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. First, I want to paint the base colors on all of the different areas of the horn. So I'm going to start with the very dark brown that's going to be at the tip. And my base color for that is going to be Dryad Bark. And of course I'm mixing it with a little bit of Lamian Medium, which I'm going to do with all of my colors except for the shades that I use. And I'm just going to paint this over about a third to a half of the horn. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I want to get this top arc and then I want to have enough of the horn painted that I have room to blend it into a purple and then down into a white. For my purple, I'm going to start with a base coat of Slanish Gray. This is a really nice gray purpley color that's going to match some of the colors that I've already applied to the face and the armor and the hair. And I want to paint this all the way down the rest of this horn. This is gonna give me a good base for my white. It's also gonna give me a good base for my purple. So I'm just going to apply a base coat. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm going to add a second layer so that I get a really nice solid color. I'm also going to paint this on the second horn that's curving the other way. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Dryad Bark color that we used earlier. I'm going to mix it into my paint and I'm going to blend the transition between the two areas, my dark brown area and the area that I wanna have be a little bit more purple. I'm starting out with my paint at about a 50-50 mixture and then I can fine tune it and add a little bit more Slanish Gray or a little bit more Dryad Bark depending on how the colors are flowing together and what I need in a particular area. Next, I'm gonna take the color Ceramite White and I'm going to do a very similar process that I just did with the browns and purples. I'm going to do that same thing with the purples and whites. So I'm going to apply this color at the very base of this horn, right where it's meeting up with the face. I want that area to be the brightest. I'm going to paint the white about a fifth of the way up the horn and then I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Slanish Gray and blend the transition between those two colors. I also wanna make sure that I do this on all sides of the horn. So anything that I do on the front, I'm doing on the top and the bottom and the sides so that the transition goes all the way around. Once we've got our base colors down for the gradient, we're going to add some shadow and highlight. Our first color is gonna be Gothor Brown. We're gonna use this to begin highlighting our brown area on the horn. And I'm just going to apply this on top of the ridges in the brown section of the horn. On this very long top point where it's not ridged, it's more flat, I'm going to apply a little bit more of the color so that there is a transition between the very dark dryad bark on the tip of the horn and it kind of blends into a lighter, more gray brown on that first ridge. And then I'm going to highlight the top of each of the ridges down below on all the areas where this horn is brown. And I'm going to highlight that Gothor Brown with the color Bane Blade Brown. This, I'm really just focusing on the very top of the ridges. I'm applying it as a line highlight just to kind of create a little bit of bright accentuation to the shape of the horn. I'm not necessarily using it to brighten up my brown as much as pick out the details. Once I finished highlighting, I'm going to add a little bit of Agrax Earthshade and a little bit of Druchi Violet. I want to apply these at the same time so I can get them to blend together a little bit on the model. So I'm just doing a little dot of the Agrax Earthshade over the brown and then I'm doing a little dot of that Druchi Violet over the purple and I'm kind of pushing and pulling the paint blending the two together so that there's a smooth transition between the brown and the purple. 
I don't need to use a lot of paint. This is a very small area on the mini and I really want to make sure that I'm not using too much. Next, I'm going to go back with a little bit of Slanish Gray and I'm going to highlight the ridges on top of the purple and a little bit of Ceramet White to highlight the ridges on the white. I also went back with just a little bit of that Bane Blade Brown color and picked out the ridges on the brown areas once more just to make sure that I intensified that highlight that got lost a little bit when we put on the Agrax or shade. And then with just a little bit of Ceramet White, I dotted these ridges on the opposite side. They have these little round bone circles that I wanted to pick out. But with those final little touches of highlight, the horn on this Karn model is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the sword blade on this Incarn model in the mini Wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial and happy Wargaming.